Hey guys, back with another 30 Days of WrestleMania entry, and let's talk about WrestleMania 13. You know, I was actually warned by a friend of the show, Joe Dombrowski, that uh, this was a very forgettable undercard and it gets kind of weird when we get to this point here and it did we had like the rocky mayavia against the sultan that had like every every uh, historic figure that you forgot about here uh, we had a triple h and, and gold dust match which you know when he got to the triple h gold dust i was really amazed at how long the match was like it felt it feels like a match that they shouldn't have given so much time to or it, it you know it, we also got weirdly this tag team match with bulldog and owen um, against Mankind Invader, like, like again, it seems like it went forever just to end it in a disqualification or a count out or whatever it was. Um, I forgot how great the again something I didn't experience the first time around, uh, but how great the Stone Cold Bret Hart match was and how significant that and I can imagine how mind blowing that probably was at the time to see the rise of Stone Cold Steve Austin. Um, in these years, by the way, JBL with the handlebar mustache, have fun with that picture um, and burning that into your mind. But uh, it, it went all over the place. It was a submission match, but it was really kind of a last man standing match that they went over the, all over the arena. It was vicious. It was entertaining. Uh, it was a hell of a time. And of course, like that, that infamous look of, of Stone Cold with the bloody mask. Uh, going on there. I was very excited for the Chicago street fight between Nation of Domination and uh, LOD and Ahmed Johnson. I Again, not in the Ahmed Johnson era, um, but uh, Ahmed Johnson fits right in as a member of LOD with their shoulder pads, I gotta say. Um, you know, knowing some of the weird replacements they've had later over the years, you know, I, I this is completely acceptable to me and a lot of fun. And we're starting to see kind of the flavor of the Attitude Era. We're seeing the roots of the Attitude Era take take shape with matches like this that are just an absolute mess, but a lot of fun, a lot of craziness going on. And I, and I really enjoyed that for what it was. Um, then it gets awkward with the uh, uh, Shawn Michaels, uh, Undertaker, and uh, Sid, Sid Vicious, Psycho Sid, I guess he is at the time, and the whining Bret Hart. Again, another part of Bret Hart I did not see um, over the years uh, as, as this was my kind of blackout period for um, uh, wrestling. Actually, I guess at the time, this is 1996, 7? I was probably already starting to watch uh, uh, WCW at the time, perhaps. Um, and this was the answer. And this is the thing that did not draw me in yet. You know, or when they start doing some of this stuff, it felt trashy TV when they started going Attitude Era. Um, but you're starting to see the glimmer of the thing that turns into what we love here. This is start resembling the product and the WWF uh, of your era for a lot of people that I talk to that, you know, especially the last couple of days, like, oh, the Attitude Era, that's that's what got me into wrestling because it was out of nowhere. I mean, we were just talking with Dutters on the Wrestling Man show this week, and she says that's what got me into it, you know, because it was so different, you know. Uh, um, and, uh, and, and we're getting into that. This is the upswing guys. And I'm very excited. We're getting to WrestleMania 14, which is the, uh, the very famous, I think, WrestleMania. Um, and it just, it just grows from there. Um, but, uh, we'll get into that and my thoughts on that as we, uh, uh, stretch towards the two thousands here. Uh, in 1997, WrestleMania 13. What do you think of WrestleMania 13? Is it anybody's favorite out there? Let us know in the uh, comments or wherever you're finding this video on Facebook or YouTube or some BitTorrent somewhere. Maybe we are the are Creative Commons, so uh, you could get anywhere you want it to be. And let me know at Sorgatron on the Twitter, at Mayhem Show on the Twitters, and please find out everything at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.